Hello and welcome to Mimo. On today's video, I want to share with you a little bit about Ho'oponopono. Ho'oponopono is a prayer that was created in Hawaii by a therapist who was working with people who had committed murder or rape or other very aggressive actions. And he was trying to understand why, what in him was bringing him to get in touch with those people. What in him was causing those people to create those aggressive actions. And he dived into his unconscious to try to locate what information was creating that world around him. And the way he found to let go of those information from his unconscious was to do the Ho'oponopono. And Ho'oponopono means to bring balance. Balance to your life, balance to the world around you, balance to the relationships. So it can be used in many situations where you feel that something is off, that something is not flowing, it's not connected. And to do that, the first step is to acknowledge that something in you is creating that world around you. And from there, to acknowledge that you're sorry for creating that situation. And when I mean sorry, it's not for you to cling to guilt. That's not the path. That path, it will just create more and more unbalanced things in your life. It's for you to take the second step that means to forgive. Forgiving yourself for whatever is out of balance in your life, whatever is the subject that you are working on. The third step is to love, to love yourself and others that are connected to this situation. To really deeply in your heart feel the love that you share. And the fourth and last step is to be grateful to be grateful for acknowledging what's happening, for understanding what's your part in it, for letting it go, for forgiving the other, and for feeling love, and to reconnecting and healing whatever is inside of you, and being grateful for all this process. This prayer has such a beautiful cleaning and healing power. For me, it helped when I was going through my divorce, when I decided that I want to do something different, that I want to go for another path. And understanding what was my part in it, being able to forgive myself for choosing different than what I expected and aimed in my life. Forgiving my husband for whatever wrong I thought he could have done for me. Feeling love for myself and for him and finally being grateful for all the learning that these experiences brought me. If you want to try it, you can just repeat the Ho'oponopono as many times as you want, or singing one of the Ho'oponopono songs and prayers that are available on YouTube or Spotify or whatever platform that you're used to search for these things. So just find the one that feels the best for you and experience the healing and the cleaning that it might bring you. The important thing if you want to try the Ho'oponopono is to really deeply feel all these stages, all these parts, the four parts. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I love you and I'm grateful. Thank you for watching this video and also the sequence about meditation. This is the last video of the sequence. I invite you to experiment Ho'oponopono or the other meditations that I suggest or even the ones that you find on your path. <laughs>